What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we are actually at Sam Crack's uh, junkyard, I would have to say. And today we actually have a pretty important mission. Ben is here because he's been waiting a very long time for the coveted Ferrari parts. Parts I couldn't even get here in the country. Don't ever buy a V12 Ferrari as a project. I have what you have been looking for for a very Finally. long time. The Fender. And, and the bumper. The bumper, the rear bumper. Those parts came from England. My friend Scott, AKA Radarosa, actually checked each one of these parts, his check luggage, when he came and visited me. That's actually hilarious. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Wait, so that's the hood, or that's the bumper and the fender for the they're 599. Both, they're both in excess of six feet tall, wrapped up. Okay, that's so hilarious. they're as tall as you, wrapped up and he brought them in as check luggage you know what it costs to bring those over how much 230 pounds like a hundred and something each oh, but there wow. they are we've got them both loaded in here and they're in really nice shape especially considering the Dang, this little japanese car fits it perfectly but i don't know how you would drive with all these parts and in here in your you, way if you want if you are crafty enough if you this thing is this pretty cool right now because i know you got to get home you could literally hit the road be back to the shop before sunset. I don't know though. Those are some 13 inch tires. This thing probably doesn't handle well on the highway. A semi truck would probably blow this thing off the highway. <laughs> no, I but mean, it does I... have, it's pretty cool. It's like, it has a nice turbocharged engine, right? Four cylinder turbo, 9,500 RPM oh, red wow. line. Look at that little intercooler. Five speed manual transmission with selectable four wheel drive bed. Really? That's, yes. I, I thought it was front wheel drive. No, these are selectable four wheel drive. This is honestly probably That's a pretty cool the coolest car. car out of everything parked in this vicinity. I know that I BMW think. looks pretty cool over there. And then you got this Toyota Soar or whatever. What is this? A Soar? Toyota Soar. That's right. But it does have the 1J in it, doesn't it? 1J twin turbo charge. V6. V6. Inline 6. Inline 6. Come and on, Sam. It comes with a lizard and a couple extra leaves. That's pretty cool. So here's the deal, Ben. You gotta get home. Funny thing is you told me you only bought a one-way ticket, right? Literally. All right. There are many cars here, and I'd be thrilled to send you home with one along with the parts. But you just gotta pick one. And again, I'm going with the mini car because it's already loaded, and it is, in my opinion, the coolest car out of this. It would be a fun car to drive, but honestly, there's not enough space in here. This is dangerous. You sure about that? I've been daily driving my mini car. How the heck would you drive with all these parts in here? nice thing <laughs> plus it's a manual come on you don't like manuals not when there's a giant bumper next to you <laughs> i think we take that bmw over here you want BMW? i think that'd be a better look how clean that thing is well it's what's wrong with this one it's you know didn't you it, get this thing for runs. free this is a great car my good friend scott bennett gave me this car it's pretty nice. The dealership tried to rip him off. They only offered him. Get ready. How much did the dealership offer and trade on this car? Oh, Mind you, two $700. years ago, three years ago, when it was really in much nicer shape than I've let it get out here. Seven hundred dollars. Fifteen hundred. But still, really? he's like, that's a rip off. He he just put thousands of dollars worth of new suspension components in it. It runs and drives really darn well. We modified it. How's the interior? Oh, it has the brown interior. This thing is nice. Is this? your uh, car of choice. The one thing that this car has. Has a navigation and a sunroof. The Toyota doesn't have is a pass-through. So the rear seats go down. So we might be able to fit these parts in there. Although that mini car just fits it so perfect that I'm pushing for the mini Nah, car. I think we take this thing. This thing's more luxury. It does have a nice sunroof. And it's a nice, beautiful color. And it's twin turbo instead of single turbo. And I'm pretty confident that it'll run all the way home, but there is one issue. And that is this. The hood. Oh. Now, the latches were bad. They were completely rusted out and they were sticking and the hood actually seized itself closed. My friend Sage went and he undid the hood for me one time. I went and replaced the latches. They are brand, brand new. But if you notice, I've left them loose and I zip tied them in place for a specific reason. I do not want the hood closed yet. It needs a brand new cable. This cable was oh, super, super stretched. Cable. Thing Same is issue. ready to go. Except for a cable. Can we install a cable? Easy. But the cable has to run, look, all the way very here. Simple. Very simple. It just goes down into the firewall, down in that pit. Can we do it? Yeah, very simple. I've done it before. If you'll start. Go ahead. We need to just tighten the 
terminal. Hey, it runs good. Right over. Look at that battery. Sounds pretty good too. No issues. Maybe something going on here. What's that noise? So we got the BMW in the garage and check out those two Ferraris just sitting there rotting away. All right, but we got the BMW inside and basically all we have to do is replace, we have to replace these two small cables too also. I have, this is one cable and it splits off into two. So oh. I have this part and then I have the part that runs in underneath to the hood release. Both of them are old stretched and there's just too much play for it to pop the hood latches. These are brand new OEM BMW hood latches too. When it comes to this, I experienced a lot of wasted time trying to pop this open, so all right, so let's, all OEM. Let's go ahead and just replace both of them. It should be a pretty straightforward process. So we got the hood latch situation all fixed up. Now all we need to do is change the oil, and I think we also need to uh, replace one of the engine mount bolts, right? Yeah, just some new mount bolts. I took and I redid a bunch of stuff under there, and when I took the bolts out, they were a bit misshapen. So I got brand new bolts. Otherwise, it seems to run pretty good. Sweet, so we're gonna go ahead and drive it up on the ramps, change the oil in it, and hey, I think we can go ahead and do a little test run on it and see how she drives. So now it's the moment of truth. We got the car all maintenance up. We went ahead and changed the oil, put some uh, fuel stabilizer in there. Now let's go ahead and see if these parts will fit. This is gonna be tough. <laughs> now they will fit. Oh man, well, the trunk might have to stay open, which is okay. We'll make sure it's safe, but these are long parts, man. Freaking bumper and a fender. All right, can you move the top of that so it doesn't bow a little bit? Oh, we're pulling one out this way. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We're stuck. And this is the only fender I could find for this Dude, car. Might as well get a new one from the dealer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That thing is destroyed. All right, now let's see if this... Man, why is this thing beeping? And check it out, guys. We got the bumper inside the car, and we got the fender, and we also have the control arm, and that's pretty much all the parts we need to finish up the Ferrari. And check it out. We get a free car in the process of fixing that car. So Sam, uh, we're gonna have to drive 500 miles. I think you'll be fine. You'll be good. 500 miles, I, I drove this car way more than 500 miles. We gotta give a big thanks to Scott Bennett, the owner of this BMW, passed it on to me. And he kept telling me, he says, just give it to somebody who's capable. I think you're pretty capable. Do yeah, me I a think, favor. I think we're gonna do some stuff to it and maybe just give it away again. Spruce it up nice. I know your brothers have a couple YouTube channels and they love BMW, so have fun with it while you got it. Full bolt-on 335, not every day. Yeah, these gets things are actually free. nice, and it's X drive, so you know. Two sets of keys, time. title. Let's what else go. do you want? But anyway, Sam, we got to hit the road and hopefully we can get that Ferrari done as fast as possible. I mean, that was the only thing I was holding us up. Yeah, it's my fault, but it's I'm looking good. forward to it. Alrighty, take care, sir. So guys, we're gonna hit the road and hopefully this thing makes it home. So guys, it's the next morning here. We finally made it back to Tennessee and I didn't really film most of the journey. And that's because it was just really hot and the AC didn't work for the first two hours of the car ride. And I just didn't really feel like it, but we made it home. Surprisingly, this car drives really good. There is a check engine light on it, but check that out. We drove 560 miles. We got all the Ferrari parts right here. And we're just gonna head back to the shop because we gotta get back to work on that Ferrari and get that thing finally done. That's the worst thing about uh, supercars, especially rare cars like the 599, is you can't really find parts and it's really hard. But hey, we got these parts all the way from the UK, which is pretty cool because as you can see right there, there is no marker lights on the side of the bumper. And that's like a Euro spec. And we actually deleted the ones on the front bumper because it was just absolutely destroyed. But anyways, let's head to the shop and we'll go ahead and unload these parts and go ahead and see what's going on with the Ferrari. So we're back at my shop and today we're gonna be working back on the Ferrari 599. And I gotta say, this little BMW made it all the way home with no problems. 
And I do really like the way these things look. I actually took it through a car wash and it might need a little bit of paint correction, but it's a pretty nice little daily just to drive around or just to have, you know, you want to go take it out on a Sunday cruise. You got that nice brown interior. But anyways, we are not talking about that right now. We are getting back to work on this Ferrari 599. As you can tell, this thing is dusty. And that is because we didn't have any parts. Uh, we were lacking the fender, the control arm, and then the rear bumper, which uh, Rad Roast actually brought this from the UK on a plane, which is pretty cool. It has a little bit of damage right here, but fun fact about this bumper is I think he paid like $300, which is a crazy deal because these bumpers are going for over $2,000 in the US. And we're gonna get to work on this car today. And we also picked up a bar stock. This was actually sent by my friend Peter from HTP. Always hooking it up. We're gonna be replacing this broken section right here with this bar stock. It is a little bit thicker, which means this car is gonna be a little bit stronger. Now, the main thing I wanna go ahead and start with this car is replacing this right side control arm. As you guys seen, that control arm is completely ripped out and we can't really move this car around. That's why it's kind of sitting on a block. So let's go ahead and get this replaced. And we did also get a steering rack. Now we're not too sure if this thing's gonna fit. I think this is off a of Ferrari FF, so a little bit newer, but I think it's gonna work out. So let's go ahead and replace this right control arm and get this thing rolled back onto the lift so we can go ahead and start welding in the new aluminum piece on that side. the new control arm on and guys check out this old one right here you can see it's all wallered out and all the brackets were broken off of it now what we're going to do is go ahead and push this thing onto the lift and go ahead and start working on this driver's side area in the back so check it out we got the car finally on the lift and i actually have to call my brother over here to help me push this thing on here because this thing is just a pain in the butt to push especially with all these gunny wheels you can see they have little stoppers on her to stop the car from rolling and we're running all four but anyways i think we're going to do everything in the next video i want to just make a nice cool video of how we're going to repair this area right here and we did get some more parts check this out we have some of the coolers we have the tank and then this little uh i guess this is like a sensor that measures how the suspension is and that goes right on there which is pretty cool this thing right here came all the way from germany and then a lot of these other parts came from the united states but it's crazy how hard it is to find parts for these cars like we are currently looking for a front reinforcement for this car we had ordered one and the guy just refunded it i guess he just maybe he had it listed on his ebay and he might have sold it and he just never took down the listing something like that and it kind of sucks because you can't really find anything and it's pretty crazy because scott actually brought the bumper and the fender all the way from the uk as a carry-on which is pretty hilarious but check it out we got this lower control arm on and i think we will have to get new studs because these ones were a little bit bent but i kind of just straightened them out but yeah, this car is coming together. Hopefully the next episode, we can get everything welded up on this side, get all the body panels on, get all the body work done. Because finally, we have all the front end parts. We got the fender, and we also have the rear bumper, which we couldn't even find one in the United States for a half decent price. And as you guys know, we have the hood. We did some of the body work on it already. And check out that front bumper. We did a lot of body work on it. And I think we're just gonna hop on this car and get it knocked out. And man, this thing is gonna be almost ready to drive. We did send out the front radiator and oil cooler to a company called Bell Intercoolers. And the cool thing is they're gonna completely replicate it from scratch and we're gonna have a new cooling system in this car. So hopefully we can fire it up and maybe drive this thing a little bit. We gotta test out how the framework lined up up here. Everything looks good. I still need to rivet these plates on. I completely forgot just how much stuff is going on with this car. That's gonna be a wrap for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We did get a free BMW out of just transporting the parts for the Ferrari here. And I might do some pretty cool stuff with that BMW or I might just give it to one of you guys, you know, tune it up, uh, change some stuff on it, make it drive good, and then just give it on to somebody else that needs a car. But yeah, everything is looking good. We are waiting on a couple more parts for the M2 over there. It's looking good. And then we have the McLaren in here just chilling. And don't worry, guys, the Mustang is actually in the office. 
So it's just chilling in there. I kind of just wanted to clean up this area right here just to have some nice running and driving cars. But anyways, that's a wrap for today's video. If you guys liked it, hit that subscribe button. Also follow us on Instagram at VTune. Thanks for watching.